Hi, my name is Stephen Simon and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 4 job oriented programming language that you must learn in 2020. Coming up. Alright, let's get into the video. So the fourth programming language in this list, it is JavaScript. Now I believe everyone has learned JavaScript in their engineering or some of you have also learned JavaScript in your high school. JavaScript is a scripting language that is very easy. Normally you might have used JavaScript with HTML and CSS to make some web pages. Now you all know JavaScript is actually used for client side. But with libraries and frameworks like Node.js, you can also use JavaScript on the server side. So it is an actually an extra cheese on pizza that if you know one programming language, you can not only code in the, for the front end, but you can also code for the back end. You can actually become a full stack developer. In 2020 and I should say even in 2018 and 19, JavaScript is going to be the language for the web developers. I mean almost every new websites or the web apps or you can say React.js or Angular.js, they are built on JavaScript. So if you know JavaScript in 2020, it is very good possibilities that you land yourself into a very nice job and more specifically maybe into web development. Now moving on to the number three language in the list that we have is our all very famous and very lovely that is Java programming language. Now Java is used almost everywhere. We have read in our graduation and uh, many of us have also gone for ex extra training in our summer vacations. Now we, with Java, you can develop some desktop applications. Uh, in every store that you go, there are good possibilities that you'll find Java based application running in the store or in marketplaces. If you are an Android developer, there are very good, good possibilities that before learning Kotlin, you are a Java developer. And also if you're a Java developer, you can move into big data. So Java has a great versatility. Of course, uh, it is open source and the best part learning about Java in 2020 or even in, I believe Java is an evergreen language. If you know this knowledge, the companies are already building applications or they've already have, have applications in the past. So what you can do, it gets a little easy for you to join any of the company because if they have already a product that is based on Java, which are very good possibilities that they will be having a product, the company will be willing to hire you. So if you know Java, uh, you're going to have a pretty bright future. I mean, in the, in the sense that you will get a job, doesn't matter if it might be a good paying job or less paying job, but you will find a job no matter or less. The second programming language in this list is C Sharp. C Sharp that is built by Microsoft and is very famous by .NET framework is widely used. With C Sharp, you can not only just make web applications, you can make desktop applications, you can make games. And what about should I say that almost all robotic process automation tools are built on C Sharp. I should be saying that C Sharp is a lot more versatile than Java. Some of you may contradict, but let me tell you, C Sharp is a language that is backed by a company that is Microsoft. So if you know C Sharp, I'll tell you that you will be learning in most of the major Microsoft technologies. For an instance, if you're a good c -sharp developer, you have good possibilities that you'll also be very much familiar with the Azure. I mean, it will not get tough for you to move into Azure, that is cloud computing. If you know c -sharp, you can move into uh, gaming. So uh, c -sharp is very versatile, it is backed by the company, so it will really help you move into Microsoft technologies, which will give you versatilities in de developing the products based on Microsoft technologies. So that is the benefit of uh, C Sharp. And since it has a very famously built on .NET framework, and I have said that almost all RPA tools are built on .NET, and I believe even the C Sharp documentation and the C Sharp community out over there are very much active. And anything that you try to go and search in Google, you'll get a good results. So in my case, the second language that is very useful for you in 2020 is C Sharp. All right, it's time to move on the list number one. Can you guess it? Exactly guys, you're right. The tip, the programming lemma one for 2020 2020 is none other than Python programming language. The reason uh, Python really got popular in last three to four years is because you can use Python for data science. I mean, if you want to move into machine learning, you only have, I mean, I shouldn't say you only have, but the two major programming languages that you get to uh, learn is first is Python and second is R. Now since Python is so so easy, you can easily get started to data science and machine learning using Python. If you are an 8th standard student, even then you can learn Python or if you are a 3rd year engineering student, even then you can learn Python. It has very good support for machine learning libraries, that is why it is a lot more recommended. 
above than R. You can make some ama amazing charts and uh, there's some really cool projects that you should go and start practicing it. So 2020-20 and beyond is going to be the age of artificial intelligence and machine learning and if you want to move into this field having a knowledge of python is must so if you are watching this video now there is the time go and start learning python and i believe it will if you have clear concept of what are functions what are variables what are condition statement it is not going to be any tough for you to get into python okay also if you know the lang if you start learning the libraries it will get really beneficial for you that was all from my side in this video talking about top four programming languages job oriented that you should be learning for 2020 if you have any views let me know in the comment section below on what are the languages that you feel should be a job oriented in the coming year that's all from my side in this video thank you so much for watching my name is stephen simon see you in the next video